there's 200 knots. Nose is coming up. Here comes the Jeep. Three. Four. 4.5. All right, so today we're doing the pre-Reno, well, pre-Reno dive test here in the uh, Wasabi Knot SX300 owned by Dennis Sanders of Sanders Aeronautics. So the classes at Reno have a minimum G that the airplane has to experience before it gets to the course. They make you sign a document that says that. And in the sport class where the SX will be running, uh, that's 4.5 G's. I personally have been to 4 G's in the airplane before. I haven't been to 4.5. So we're going to use this opportunity to check some other stuff on the airplane. So it turns out that it bubbed between 3 and 3.5 three and G's. So more G's than we'll be pulling on the course. The main gear come off the stops and that actually fires the micro switch which actually opens the main, the main gear clamshell doors. We haven't exactly quantified that. Sometimes it happens at 3, sometimes at 3.5, sometimes it doesn't happen at all. So today will be a chance to uh, quantify that a little bit better. So we're going to use a standard build up approach. We start out at 3 G's, then 3.5, then 4, then 4.5. It's a relatively high risk point. 4.5 is just about the limit uh, for this airplane. So we're nice and light on gas. It's just going to be me. I made sure there's no nothing in the back of the airplane so the CG's are on the forward side. Uh, everything to put the odds in my favor. Uh, we're low altitude here at Eagle's Nest, only about 250 feet above sea level. Probably only need 6,000 feet or so, but we're going to go ahead and go up higher than that to make sure we have plenty of time if something happens to sort it out or go for the door. Also be wearing a helmet and a parachute just because uh, it is a high risk test. Uh, VA on this airplane is 174 knots, so we should be able to get that 4.5 G's at 175 knots. But the problem is you want to be able to point that velocity vector up so that if you do have a structural problem, you can maximize the amount of time you have to deal with it. So the plan is to cruise the airplane out to, uh, we're thinking 200 knots will work, get the velocity vector pointed up, and then G on that sort of upline pointing your debris field uphill. Uh, so that's our basic plan for today. If uh, 200 knots isn't enough by the time we get the nose up we'll have to dive into the point and do it at a little bit faster it's really cool to be doing this test it's one of those sort of check boxes required for reno that uh it's always fun to be reminded yeah we're gonna get to race at reno and this is uh, one of those cool occasions <laughs> Pretty airplane. Thanks, man. Ditto. He goes nice traffic. Glitter one sticking runway one nine. Set. Motor looks good. Air speed a lot. One, two, three. Okay, getting close to ten thousand. Go through our bailout stuff real quick. We got an overhead latch, which is a uh, clockwise turn. We have this uh, main canopy latch, which has a lock on the front. Seatbelt is a one flap pull from left to right. All right, now we're going to do this first one out to three G's, which is here on the indicator. All right. We'll Turn off COM1, get rid of some of the distraction. Glitter 1 is level 10,000, we're going to start on the first point. Alright, there's 200 knots. Point the noise up. Roll over to the side, and here comes the pull. 2, 2.5, 3, I got gear doors. Recovering all green. Gear doors are still open. Gear doors are closed. 
Alright, that uh, basic point uh, setup worked well. I'm going to do that again for this next one after 3.5. Level 10,000 directly over the airport. Here comes 200 knots, going to point the nose uphill. Nose is high, here comes the Jeep. Three. Three point five. Gear doors are open. 185. Right gear doors closed, left gear doors closed. Okay, same basic point set up for the uh, third pole. Third pole is going to be four Gs. Directly over the airport going 10,000. Leaning over for 200 knots. There's 200, pointing the nose uphill. And here comes the G. Three, 3.5, four. All green, recovering, gear doors open. Gear doors closed. Okay, one more one more pull to go out to 4.5. Gonna use the same point of geometry. Directly over the airport showing 10,300. There's 200 knots. Nose is coming up. Here comes the Jeep. Three, four, 4.5. Gear doors open. Shut all three that time. Still waiting on the right clamshell. Looking at the tail, looks like it was more like four and a quarter G, so I'm gonna do that one over. Okay, all the gear doors are closed. Accelerating for 200 knots, gonna use the same basic geometry, just gonna pull a little harder. Directly over the field, westbound, 10,000 feet. There's 200 knots, pointing the nose uphill. Here comes the Jeep. Four point five. Point complete. Waiting on the gear doors. Gear doors are closed. Power's coming back, coming downhill. All green RTB. Eagles Nest traffic, glitter one is just north of the field. Be setting up for an overhead runway one nine or Eagles Nest traffic, glitter one is uh, initial, about a half mile initial. Runway one nine will be doing right there.